Labour would comply with the ICC arrest order from the in Yahoo, David Lammy reiterates. We're going to read into this piece from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from The Guardian with the headline that Labour would comply with the ICC arrest order for Netanyahu, David Lammy reiterates. The Shadow Foreign Secretary repeats belief in rules-based order and says that the UK would not seek EU membership. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share across social media so others are notified of this video. Now, I'm not really so much uh, on the point about Brexit and whatnot because as of right now, we, we know Labour has made it very, very clear that they're not looking to rejoin the single market or rejoin the EU membership. But, but we don't know what's going to happen in 5, 10, 20 years of time. That, that position may change, of course, within the Labour Party. Because guess what? People can change their minds. Just like many people have changed their minds about Brexit. But, you know, some people in the comments actually still think that Brexit is a good idea, even though they not shown uh, any evidence to support that but enough enough about those uh, people hiding under a stone here i want to talk about obviously the that what, what david lammy has saying here about that labor would comply with the icc arrest order for netanyahu i'm going to be flat out honest with you guys i don't buy this one second and the reason i don't buy this for one second is because how how intertwined that uk government UK politicians and lobby groups are embedded with 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 Israel, Israeli government specifically, and what's happening over there. I just cannot see a situation that they would comply with this. On the only condition, the only condition I could see this is perhaps if Netanyahu is no longer in power, if Netanyahu is completely if Netanyahu is completely out of power. And he's not in politics anymore. He's completely kicked to the curb. Maybe then I could see it happening. But if you were to tell me that they would do, if he was to come over as a prime minister to the United Kingdom, could I see them complying with this? Absolutely not. Um, I can't see them doing that. It's not to say that uh, is it right? It's because just because of 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 too much politicking, too much lobbying, too much influence would stop Labour from doing that. And I uh, and I and, and I'm going to be flat out, flat out honest with you. It's not right. Um, it would not be right in any way, shape or form. Um, what's happening, obviously, in Gaza. We've said this so many times on, on this channel, guys. I don't need to tell you how horrendous it is now. Uh, the innocent lives that are being lost. The, the destruction that is taking place. And Benjamin Netanyahu needs to take his ownership and responsibility for his actions. And not just by what's happening within the Gaza Strip, but what his actions has he done for the Israeli people. He was in charge when that attack, horrific attack, took place on October the seventh. He was the prime minister. He's the prime minister. He's the one that needs to take ownership and responsibility for it, and he hasn't, as of right now. Many people within Israel are furious with him, not just within his government, but furious with the way he handled that situation. Like we're like not just by what's happening in Gaza, not just by what's happening in the West Bank, but that in itself as well is in damning. Um, so it is it's a very catch-22 but some people for labor may disagree and they will say that labor would comply with it but i i don't buy it and if i'm wrong then i'll i'll say i'm wrong but if i'm wrong down the road if netanyahu does come and they, they arrest him or whatnot then i'll hold my hands up and i'll say i'm wrong but i just don't buy this premise that labor that labor would say this and a part of me feels like that that they that he is saying this because they can knowing that they don't expect him to come to the uk that that's how i feel like so he's probably been saying yeah i can say this because i'm very confident that he's probably not going to come to the uk that that's what I've, i generally think anyway so let's read a bit more into this so david lammy has reiterated that labor would seek to implement an arrest warrant against benjamin netanyahu if one was issued by the international criminal court speaking to cnn the shadow foreign secretary said that labor government would comply if an order was issued for the arrest of the Israeli Prime Minister, adding that he expected the response to be the same all over Europe. Lamy has made the same commitment previously, but his remarks uh, to the US uh, TV channel Francis Zarika came, uh, came at a time when the ICC is drawing closer to making a decision on the issue of warrants. 
Labour has faced criticism from Israeli groups for making the commitment, which was previously made before the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak called the general election. Explaining his rationale, Lamy said, The architecture was created after the Second World War. The rules-based order is that we believe so much in. The international legal structure, one of the big architects of that was Churchill in our country. It's something that we have been a guiding light for the United Kingdom over many years, and that's why we are signatories to the Statute of Rome. We believe that the ICC and the IC ICJ, now I've seen what the chief prosecutors have said about the desire for warrants. There is a process, a court process, that will determine whether they will be granted. But we have to be very clear in the Labour Party that we believe in this rule-based order, we believe in international law, we also believe in the separation of powers. He said, it's not for me as a politician to start quizzing or debating the determinations that are made by senior judges, whether domestically or internationally. Pressed by Zarita on whether Labour would comply, he said, here in the UK we will comply and will be the same across Europe. And I know that the United States is not a signatory to that statute. So there will, there will be a different debate in the United States about the issue. I recognise that. Yes, we are fully aware that the US would not comply with this. And I, at least I, I doubt it very, very much. I think it's the best way to say that. The ICC prosecutor Cameron Khan announced on the 20th of May that he's seeking applications for arrest from the pre-trial pre uh, chamber. Under the procedure, the courts uh, judges decide whether they believe the evidence uh, believe the evidence complied to sufficient to issue arrest warrants, something that could take weeks or months. Joe Biden, the US president, described the ICC move as outrageous. Warrants also sought for the arrest of Hamas leader in Gaza, Yangi Singwa, the Israeli Defense Minister Yovid Galing, Hamas political leader Ismail Hanig and the military group's chief, Mohammed Adiyev. Netanyahu has also uh, been been accused by Khan of starvation of civilians, attack directed, uh, attacks directed at civilians, and willful killings of, great, of causing great suffering. I want to be very, very clear about this. Um, there, is, there is huge amounts of evidence that supports the, the, the direction and the attacks on civilians. Huge amounts of it, evidence of it online. Um, that is an absolute fact. There is more than enough evidence online. To, it's not that hard to literally scroll across TikTok, scroll across Twitter, literally Google Google that kind of stuff. It's not that hard to find that to find that kind of stuff, guys. It really isn't. I don't recommend I recommend it if it's too much for the faint-hearted to see destroyed children and whatnot. But it's not that hard to find it. Warrants will remain sealed until the time of arrest. This means that the suspects are effectively no longer able to travel to the 124 countries who are party to the ICC statute and therefore obliged to arrest them and turn them over to the court. The ICC itself pointed out on social media on Sunday that the court could seek either a, su either a summons to appear in which someone submits themselves to the court voluntarily or arrest warrant for arrest that was enforced by national authorities. Now, it's also said the UK would not reopen the issue of membership with the EU and that the EU itself would not be interested unless there was a settled option to rejoin the UK. He said such a settled option did not exist because of the Conservative Party, the Reform Party. A significant part of the electorate has set uh, its face against this, so it, this is not a debate that can be reopened unless there were to be a groundswell of a change of view. And whilst I may have those views, the truth is that the Conservative Party is not in the, that position at this stage. Lamy has also sounded optimistic about the impact of, his, of the re-election of Donald Trump in the war against Russia and Ukraine. He said Donald Trump uh, actually upped American troops uh, to NATO and their presence in Europe. He sent the first javelins to Ukraine actually because he likes a deal and he likes to get things done. He's not going to want to see the United States or his partners lose any battles ahead and that's the truth of it. I'll, I'll, we'll see if obviously, obviously what will happen with America and Trump. We'll obviously have to wait and see on that one. But... Um, Obviously, I don't really, uh, you know, Lammy's just saying the same lines with regards to Brexit. Don't need to add any more of that. But obviously, what's happening with the, like, I'm still kind of like sitting, like, even after reading that, he's like, we will comply with this. We will stick to this. And I'm just like, will you, will you, will you? I really have a hard time believing this, guys. I really, really do. Um, you know, I, I just feel like that. I just feel that. Israel, Israeli politics, people from the government just have too much influence over uh, uh, in, in, in British politics. I just think they'll have too much influence to stop stop such a thing. Um, like I said, in the circumstances where he completely, when he's if he's kicked out of power and has no power and whatnot, maybe. But after, but until then, I just if you ask me right now, I just cannot see that. 
I cannot see that. But maybe some of you may disagree with me if I'm on. If maybe some of you will disagree with me. With that regard, what do you guys honestly think? Do you think David Lammy? Do you think the Labour a Labour government would comply with the ICC arrest order for for, uh, for the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu? Do you think that they would reiterate it if he had lost power, if he was out out on his backside and he came and visited? Do you think they would comply then? What do you guys honestly think about all of this and more? Let me know down in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share across social media so others are notified of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, financially support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p. Or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon.